stick has been an important tool for the visually impaired for a century now. And with the advancement of technology, it's only fair that this important tool gets a facelift. Now, ordinarily, this is what a normal walking stick looks like. And this is the smarter version of it, the hand. The vibrators are what give you the vibrations or the so-called haptic feedback. For that reason, I have since changed its name from the guide device to haptic and audio augmented navigation device or H-A-A-N-D, hand. The older version was just a simple walking stick that aided the visually impaired avoid obstacles in their way. Even with the advancement in technology most of them cannot enjoy, the inventions and innovations that are specifically made for this group of persons as they tend to be expensive. But things are about to change with the innovation of this electronic guide device by Moses Gishanga. What I wanted to improve was uh, the cane is there. You can use the cane to feel your way. But all, you'd, all that does is it makes you avoid obstacles. But it doesn't uh, help you to navigate. This modern version of the walking stick is the first of its kind. At the top, the electronic guide has been fitted with the electronic components. The purpose of the additional section here is for the guidance. So it is able to uh, give them navigation or points using vibrations or what you call haptic feedback, just like your phone vibrates. So it will vibrate uh, uh, at either direction, either left to vibrate to the left or to the right. But this device, commonly known as the hand, is capable of receiving voice commands as Gishanga explains. How the, the, the device, uh, the software works is that it uses speech recognition. Uh, I use uh, the Java Sphinx library, which is an open source library, and then it converts your speech into commands. So when you say something like, take me to, it's able to understand. So I developed a language which I call the structured query language, structured speech query language, which you use. So there are a pre predefined set of commands, like uh, take me to. Uh, where am I now? And then it tells you you are currently at Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Gishanga says the SIM card slot also ensures the user is able to make calls, send or read messages and emails. When an SMS comes, it will vibrate a certain way and then you just say, read me messages and it can read you the message out verbally. It can also receive email for persons who are visually impaired. So they essentially get not only the guidance device, but they also end up having a computer. This can also be done using a Bluetooth device paired with a walking stick. The speaker is ended up, ends up as a Bluetooth device, uh, a hands-free Bluetooth device on your ear. Uh, but that has since fallen into disrepute with regard to my, the innovation. 